Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're learning this little hip hang gazelle variation. This is a really cute move that I just kind of made up, so I don't really have a name for it. But it's super fun, and even though it looks super bendy, you don't actually need to be that flexible to do this. So do not worry, even if you are not a contortionist, you're gonna be fine. But quickly before we start, please take a minute to subscribe to my channel. I've got lots and lots and lots of other aerial tutorials for all levels, plus a great community of people over there. So so please take a minute and subscribe. Here are your pro tips for this move. My first pro tip is to try to keep your hip hang on the outside of your leg. It's a little bit hard to see, but if you have the bottom of the hoop more on the outside of your leg than directly on the front of your leg, it's going to be a lot less painful. I talk more about that in my hip hang video. If you want to learn more about hip hangs and how to do them in a less painful way, make sure that you check out that video. It is linked in the description and on the top of your screen right now. My second pro tip is to use your arms. There are a couple of moments in this trick where you need to scoot yourself around. That's gonna be a lot easier if you are pulling up, putting weight into your arms, and therefore taking weight off the parts of your body that are twisting around on the hoop. My third pro tip is to open your leg up to the side. This is not even close to a square standard split. This is definitely a leg to the side moment. And I've got a fourth pro tip today. Open your chest. Make sure that you are arching your back slightly, opening up your chest, and trying to push your arms and your leg a little bit behind you. That's going to really make this move pop and look beautiful. Now you've got your pro tips, so let's break it down. From sitting in the hoop, place your hands on one side of the span set. Whatever side you choose, that will be your back leg in your split. I'm putting my hands on the left side of the hoop, so therefore my left leg will be back in the split and my right leg will be forward. Keeping your body close to the hoop, you're going to roll towards that side, so I'm rolling to my left, and come into a front hip hang on both hips. Next, take the leg that is closer to the middle of the hoop. I rolled to my left, so for me that is my left leg. You're going to shoot it straight up, but it's passing through the center of the hoop still, so don't change what side of the hoop it's on. And brace that ankle against the top of the hoop. That should leave you in a hip hang on your other leg. For me, that's my right leg. Now you can straighten that bottom leg, reach out with your hand, take the heel, and push it into an a la seconde or leg to the side position. This is gorgeous on its own. This is already a beautiful position and you don't need to be that flexy. However, if you are feeling bendy, you can also pull that leg back behind your head. I like doing this little position. This is one of those times when the angle makes you look extremely, extremely bendy, but it's actually not that contortion-y. To come out of it, let go of your leg, place both hands in front of you on the hoop, and like I was talking about those moments where we roll over in this position, you're going to pull with your arms and flip your hips towards the sky. Your top leg comes down towards the back and what was your bottom leg flips itself over so that you are resting with your tailbone against the hoop. From there, you can walk your hands up the side of the hoop and come back to your seated position. Here's the whole thing again in real time to see how it works. Thanks so much for watching. This is a super fun little position that I kind of just made up on the spot. So give it a try. Let me know how you like it. If it hurts a little bit the first time, don't worry, that is totally normal. It's going to be a little bit intense on your hip hang, but I promise after the second or third time, it's gonna start to feel better. Once again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really, really helps me out when you guys subscribe and like my videos. And with that, I will see you next time.